Uh, well, because partially because you get one ticket, um, so you have to go. Um, and uh, I've, you know, I have a lot of friends at EW, and they've been very good to me, and I've always been an EW fan and EW subscriber for like my whole life. So uh, you know, I'm I'm a consummate fanboy, and uh, I've gone to Comic Con several years. And, you know, the last two I've come as like a professional, whatever that means. So it's weird, I've seen both sides of it. I used to try and sneak into this party to no avail. So now I just sneak into it, you know, regularly. Wait, so you used to come as a fan. Tell me about that experience. Did oh, you yeah. dress up? Oh yeah. Well, no, I, I could never dress up because the one time I was going to like, it was a whole like rigmarole where we were running late to a panel and we just decided not to. But um, yeah, but like a lot of my friends do and I, you know, I just, I don't know, I enjoy the whole fan community. It's like where I come from. Several. They usually happen here where I see somebody. Uh, I saw Guillermo del Toro earlier. I, if I see him in person, I'm, I would like to introduce myself, but like he's like a huge hero of mine. Like I just, that'd be so cool. You're so oh, I love you. I actually met people who came up to you the other way around. Oh, oh really? Yeah. So do, I think people must recognize you at this right Has anyone? Um, yeah, but it's you know oh, the whole industry is here. The one thing about Comic Con that, uh, as a fan, that I can say is that more and more it becomes, it seems to become more about the industry than the fans, and so we're trying to like marry the two together. I'm trying to tie the two, because I'm a super fan. Um, well, that is crazy, yeah. That's I would have never imagined hearing that in a million years, so. Funny how life works. It is, well, yeah. go enjoy yourself.